Hey, what's up everybody? This is Crescent and again, this is Barnon 11970 and I have another video I want to do really quick because I had one of those epiphany moments and I wanted to share what I think the agenda is that's going on here. You see more and more lately that people are becoming more and more divided. People are pe more and more becoming afraid of other people. Now, one of the regulations that they are trying to have passed and many people are waving their flags and cheering this is bigger background checks for guns mental health issues etc well if you notice anything like I said before and I hope people verify this about what's common in a lot of these mass shootings is it always tends to be some depressed outcast who is on some form of medication who decides for some reason to lash out against the world whether it's staged or not is irrelevant at this point because what they're trying to do is conclude that if you are depressed if you think differently if you dress differently look out of the ordinary if you don't fit into what's mainstream or trending or what's quote-unquote in then they're getting people to not trust one another be paranoid turn each other in saying oh that person you know, may be depressed or may be angry. So we have to be careful because they might be the next shooter. And they're going to, in the media especially, drill this into people's heads. Because this is not the norm. Because like I said, for every one crazy lunatic that does something this sad and pathetic and dangerous and extreme, for every one that does it, there's hundreds of thousands that don't. Because I challenge anybody out there in their entire life, if you haven't ever had that moment where you thought in your head, oh, I re I'm going to kill this person, or I'm just going to you know, destroy whatever, or you say something out of anger. We've all done it. Like I said, you know, watch two people fight in a bar or wherever, and they're really into it. It's a heated moment. You'll hear people say, oh, well, I'm going to kill you and everything. That doesn't mean they mean it. But I really think the agenda here is they want people to really stop trusting one another making everybody wonder well what if so now they're talking about things well cops have to step in and prevent crimes before they happen I mean that reminds me I forget the name of the movie but it was a Tom Cruise movie about how they had these police and they were arresting people based on the ability to quote unquote predict and see the future even though they found out that the future is not set and can be changed. And even though they saw the future, they saw one future, not the future. Because in a world or a multiverse of endless possibilities, the only way something can be predicted is if nothing changes to allow that prediction to come true. But they want us paranoid. They want us not trusting one another. Because then you could pass a lot of gun laws and keep a lot of people from having the ability to protect themselves. Because you could say, well, this person's mentally unstable. And at what point do they you know, define what unstable is? Can you just have a bad day at work one day and you just snap and say, oh, I'll, I'll beat you to death or I'll hit you or say something out of anger? And then they can just have that as a jailable offense. Because there are plenty of people that say things out of anger, say things out of frustration. So should we all get punished for that? And I really think they're trying to get people paranoid into thinking that, oh, if you're depressed or if you think differently or you think outside the box or you look different or you act different or whatever, there must be something wrong with you or at least potentially wrong with you. It's a very dangerous slope. But the beautiful thing is, sometimes the way to the truth is through seeing things and where they could potentially go and being open to the possibility. Now, I'm not saying this stuff is going to happen or that is their motive, but it is a possibility. And if it's a possibility, we want to do everything in our power to prevent it from turning from a possibility into something that becomes a happening just because somebody's different does not mean they're a criminal. 
And yes, there are bad people in the world. There are crazy people in the world that are crazy enough to want to pick up a gun or pick up a knife or get inside a car and create havoc and create harm to more than just themselves. This is a fact. It's an unfortunate fact, but this is a fact. But if this was the norm, then everybody would be afraid to go outside because at any moment somebody would want to shoot you or stab you or run you over with their car. As you can see in a quote-unquote civilized society, that doesn't happen every second. But if you watch the news, if you listen to the government, if you listen to some of these fanatics on YouTube, you'd, you'd think that's the case. Tell a lie long enough it becomes the truth. So be very careful down the road that we're headed. Is this what we want? It's creating a paranoia, a mistrust, a division. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, divide and conquer is one of the best forms of having a small group be able to control a larger group and win the war. But once you know the game plan, once you know the strategy, you can change it. So be very careful. They're really making you go down a road that is a sneaky backdoor way of being able to keep your right to protect yourself out from under you. They're going to pull that rug by saying, well, this person potentially is dangerous, or this person is very depressed, or look at all the people on medication, and look, we need to have cops do more to prevent potential things from happening. And the masses are going to cheer them on. They're cheering their rights away. Be careful what you wish for. You may get it. Think. Think.